So in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can use Canva to create some really nice looking Google posts. And you can do it in about five to 10 minutes with, you know, very limited graphic design experience. Um, Canva is basically a graphic design platform. Um, you can use it to create a number of marketing materials, whether it's featured images on blog posts, whether it's ebook covers, uh, whether it's Google posts like this. Um, you can even edit videos and they have a whole library of stock photos and videos you can pull from as well. Um, I think it's offered in a free plan and they also have a paid version, which is like $9 a month, gives you access to extra, uh, extra content, basically extra stock content, which is really useful. But today we're talking about Google posts specifically. So making Google posts, I, I know a lot of people maybe struggle with this or they don't know exactly what to include in their Google posts. Um, so the nice thing about Canva is they have a number of nice templates here that sort of uh, let you get the process going, right? Because a lot of it is, you know, especially for people that aren't as graphic design inclined, it's hard to figure out how I want it to look, right? How, what image do I want to use? How do I want to present this content? So Canva gives us a lot of nice options for this. So basically you just go to Canva, type in Google Posts. It's going to give you a number of templates here almost 650,000 templates to be exact. So plenty of options. And this is just a really good framework for, um, for how you want the post to look like. Now, obviously you can click into any one of these and you can make significant edits, right? You can change the images, change the text, obviously change the font, change the colors. Um, but this just gives you kind of a, a, a good basis of where to start for your Google posts. Um, so let's jump into a project that we uh, that we were working on basically through one of those templates. So here's an example here. And this is for a, uh, a med spa, essentially, um, a local med spa. What we did was we picked one of the templates and we basically just jumped in and started editing the information. Um, yeah, very simple. So, you know, the first thing you want to do, obviously, you want to add your, your logo, the company logo, um, and then you want to if you're not sure exactly what to say in the post, because I know a lot of clients aren't super familiar with Google posts, so they may not give you a lot of direction there. Initially, you want to ask the client um, for that direction, right? So, I mean, initially you want to ask them if they have any offers or specials they want to promote. Um, but if they don't, this is kind of if, for if they don't, then go to their website. Um, if you have access, you know, if they're your client, clearly you have access to their Google search console and decide, you know, kind of what pages are getting the most clicks, um, what, what are kind of their main sales pages, um, go through analytics as well, see what pages are converting or see what pages they want to convert that maybe aren't converting as well. Um, and just analyze the content on the page and add the content to your Google posts. Um, because ultimately we want to drive traffic from the Google post back to our website and it's better to, to put them on pages that we want them to convert on, right? So if we're trying to convert on massages, we're going to go to their massage page on their website and just piece together, piece together the content. The copy is already there on their pages. So you can kind of just take that, piece it together in a way that makes sense within the template that you selected, right? So in this case here, we have basically, you know, two lines, right? Why are massages important? And then just kind of explain, well, here's what they do. They ease tension, reduce soreness, relax the body and then the call to action down here. Um, now, of course, in a Google post, you're also going to have a call to, you're going to have a call to action button in the content of the post itself, right? So let's look at this example. So if we go down here, this was back here, I believe. We click into it. So you can see here, um, we're pretty much reiterating what we put in the image, right? So we put ease tension, relax the body, we're here to provide a relaxing massage that improves circulation and sleep patterns. And then we finished it up with the call to action at the bottom, call or click book to get started. And then we have the book link, which takes them to the uh, appointment page. And the nice thing about Canva for a lot of these templates, and this one specifically, it comes with different iterations. Um, and I really like this because you can sort of, you can kind of test uh, what works versus what doesn't work. And you can just have just have kind of different looks on your Google posts and not have everything look exactly the same. Um, so it's kind of nice, right? So we have the first page here, page one, and then the second page looks completely different. And 
so forth, right? And anyway, it kind of it kind of goes down like that. Um, so I like this because this gives, just gives you more options, more visuals to kind of look at and, and see what you like, see what the client likes. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is super easy. Um, you can basically go through and you could duplicate this for many, many months, right? You could uh, go up to the top here, file, you know, make a copy. And you could just go back through and literally do this for all their services, right? You could say, why are, uh, wh why, I don't know, why is um, relaxation important, right? And you could just go through and, and do this very, very easy, almost to the point, it's so quick to do that it's almost automated, right? And then what I would recommend is, if you can, include images from the client's website or their Google My Business uh, that they already have posted on there, right? And then you can just easily, the nice thing about Canva is you can also do screen grabs of images. So you can do a screen grab on, if you don't want to go to the effort of like going to their website, downloading an image, you know, saving it on your computer, all that stuff, you can just do a screen grab of it and then paste it into this project and drop it right here. And it's super easy to do. So that's a, just a quick way to, to set this up and you can have this going endlessly. You can, you know, you can do Google posts once a week, twice a week, three times a week, however often you, you think you need to for your specific uh, client and, and niche. But Canva just makes this really easy. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, this is mainly for people that aren't, you know, super design oriented and they just want a quick way to create this content for their clients and keep them happy. And, and clients are happy to see this. They really are. Um, they, they like to see a somewhat professional looking, um, you know, design like this, I think. So, you know, you, the, the key is you want it to be as professional as possible, but also as um, streamlined and uh, systemized as possible from an agency standpoint, right? Um, that's the key to success long-term. So just trying to make things easy. Uh, and Canva really helps with that. Uh, so again, if you have any questions, let us know, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll be back with another video.